Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Hey, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we're Adventures in Nomadness. So don't be that person that gets your RV get it broken into. Find out how we secure our RV. And thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So RVs get stolen all the time. Uh, we've got a few devices that we use around the RV to hopefully slow a potential thief from stealing our RV because this is our home and it's kind of a big deal if it does go bye-bye. Uh, so we're gonna walk around the RV and kind of show you what we have upgraded and some of the things we use so that it does not get stolen. Well, the number th one thing that we use to uh, keep theft from, ha theft from happening is this behemoth of a hitch lock. You can actually do some weight work with it. Uh, Proven Industries, I think, is probably number one in the industry for hitch locks. We love it. We we're super lucky, too. We used to have a tag, very small teardrop, so small that we could push it around, push it in our old garage, and you can imagine how easy that was. Is, that is to steal. Uh, these are not cheap. And by the way, we're not getting any kickbacks for recommending any of these products. We're not affiliated with Proven Industries or RV Locks or anything else that we'll walk around and show you what we use today. So buy away. We're not making anything off of it. Uh, if you go to YouTube, you'll also see some videos on uh, different people breaking other types of locks. There's actually with a big crowbar, you can break other locks. Uh, this one, uh, man, this if you can break through this, you've got it. You're like amazing because it would be extremely hard to get through this. And so the one we had for our tag fit on here so we didn't have to buy it again, which was really nice because these are not cheap and that just fits under there like that. And then this one fits right over like that so that those two tabs match up. And then the bottom thing there goes in and the lock turns and got it good. And the main thing you're trying to do to stop a potential thief is to slow them down as much as you can. Um, I've also seen YouTube videos where, you know, even if you have a really good hitch lock on, they'll make it, you know, kind of get it up close to the bumper as possible and then hook the chains up and then lay that on the chain. So slowing them down, you know, you can hook up your chains, put your, your pin lock through them. Uh, just one more thing that somebody uh, just one more thing that somebody would take a couple extra seconds to try and break through. Now, if you've gone to the uh, forum and looked at Eggscape stuff, he's the master of all mods, uh, putting a cover on is great, but this takes not even two seconds to pull this off. Uh, but he has put a switch somewhere. It's real easy to, to lift the, the jack up and down here and he's put a hidden switch on his so that not just anybody can come up and access the hitch there. So you might want to look at Eggscape on the forum because he's got uh, really cool ideas on that. So a thief runs around and we pull the tire covers off. That takes a second and they're like, oh man, look at all this other stuff I got to take off of here. We've got a wheel lock and the next shock. So between those two, they're going to have to break that off and then they're going to have to use a wrench to take that off. So that's going to take them a little bit of time to get through these as well. If you really want to be super, super, if you really want to be super, super, um, even more secure, you could put some lug locks on here too. And uh, so sometimes um, on our single axle trailer, we, it was recommended that we actually put lug nut locks on because sometimes they'll just take the tire off with the uh, wheel lock and then um, just put the spare tire on. So anything you can do to slow them down. Well, one of the simple things that you can do to improve your security is take the thumb pole, this little guy, off of your outside hatch. Why? Because it just adds to the ability for somebody to come along and pop this open. One, you can just stick something under here and two you can actually pull it the other reason i didn't like it is when you open this and you connect it to here it has a tendency to hit up here so there's multiple reasons to take it off but the main reason you're just helping a thief get into your hatch 
So it's been a couple months. We've had a lot of things to do, but we're finally getting around to changing our locks. Why? Because all of these RVs come with a standard lock. So if you look at your lock, if you have an Escape or some other RV, chances are you have on here a CH751. And this lock for this hatch will open just about anybody's hatch. And so we want to get some less unique or less generic locks in here. And the other thing is that we decided to put uh, another lock on the front door so that we can get rid of two keys and get down to one. So changing out this, I'm not super handy, but this is easy enough for me to do. And it only requires two little tools. One, this, and this. A Phillips and a crescent wrench. <laughs> Uh, okay, so... So as part of our security upgrade, uh, we're actually going to redo, uh, replace the front door lock too. Um, the key for these are sometimes kind of common, not as common as a CH751 that opens every single RV hatch out there. Part of the reason, these are fine locks, I had no problem with that. The reason we decided to go ahead and do this at the same time, uh, number one is because we have one key now for both the front door and the outside hatch. And the reason for the code, so we have two little dogs you've seen quite a bit, uh, Blitz and Lucy, and this to me seemed like a good solution if uh, we do have a temp monitor inside the RV. If it got to be too hot for some reason, the power went out and we knew that we couldn't get back super fast, we could call the park or call a neighbor or something and say, hey, will you go check on the dogs? And all we have to do is give them the code. Uh, it seemed to be a really good solution instead of you know hiding a key somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this right now too. So this is pretty easy. I'm just gonna take out these four screws here. And I'm gonna take out the strike plate. So I did put the, the new lock in. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit on this end. Okay, so I trimmed a little bit here, and then I'll work this in. Next, we're gonna hook up the battery wires. Ooh, and it beeped just like it's supposed to. And then somehow, you tuck this in here. Hmm. Not a lot of room to tuck it in here. And then you have to align the little handle, the little thing here, so that is that side. And then you'll see that this works. I'm just going to do the code that they give you which is one, two, three, four, and lock it. And that came right out, that deadbolt. I love it when it works. So what else can you do? You can leave lights on. Just like at home, if you have a dark outside house, it makes it easier for somebody to creep up and break in. Uh, obviously, these are all just deterrents, 
One other thing that we're looking at is maybe in the future is doing something in the way of cameras. There are some that go with remote cameras that are temporary that you just uh, basically temporarily attach to your RV on the outside or the inside. They run off Wi-Fi. Yeah, we haven't done enough research on those. I've seen a couple different uh, brands floating around that a couple of the other YouTubers have uh, talked about. Uh, so in the future, maybe.